Fitzgerald from BookReporter.com, and I'm here with Joseph Fender today, the New York Times best-selling author of Power Play, talking about his new book, Vanished, the first in a new series. The Nick's got a real special relationship with his nephew, Gabe. Yes. A really wonderful, warm relationship, more than an uncle, really treats mm -hmm. him like a friend. Yep. Where did Gabe come from? Yeah, well, you know, Gabe is uh, Nick's nephew, his brother Roger's stepson. He is, Nick, uh, Gabe is uh, 16. He is kind of, as my daughter would call it, emo. You know, he's kind of maladjusted, he's kind of unhappy, yet he's really brilliant and a prodigy and really talented and kind of deep. He's kind of a complex character. And he's based on some kids that I know, you know, who are always outcasts in high school. One of the things in Vanish, which I enjoyed working on, is that Gabe is working on this graphic novel. And he won't say much about it, but eventually it turns out that the hero of this graphic novel is called The Cowl. And The Cowl is really Nick Heller. It's Gabe's superhero version of Nick Heller. So Nick reads this and he's totally touched that, that Gabe, you know, Nick goes to see Gabe and says, boy, I was flattered that you made this character after me. And, and Gabe said, what? We're talking about no, Gabe's in complete denial. He doesn't want, he's embarrassed by this. And the comic actually provides a clue that helps Nick find out what happened to Gabe's father. So is there a comic book that actually came out of, you? is there, does Gabe's comic book actually exist? Can yeah, you actually uh, see it? Gabe, I, I remember I was talking talking with some friends about Gabe's comic in, in, in Vanished. And I, I had the idea, you know, why don't I actually do this comic? I actually get someone to do this. I didn't know how to do it. So I was at BoucherCon, which is this big mystery convention, and I saw, and I saw a couple of guys sitting at a table. One of them was uh, a guy named Will Dennis, who's a senior editor at DC Comics, and the other one was a guy named Brian Azarello. I didn't know who Brian was. I didn't know, and I do now, that Brian is basically a god in the comic world. And he is, he wrote, as I said, uh, 100 Bullets. He wrote the Joker, I mean, the, the Joker movie is based on the Azarello conception of the Joker. He is a genius. And I sat down there, and it turns out that he had read my stuff, and uh, we talked, and I said, so I have this idea. And they both said, that's cool. Like, actually do the comic that was in the book and issue it separately. So Will found me this great artist uh, to do it in kind of a retro Joe Kubert style, which is kind of the comics of my childhood, <clears throat> which I still think they're popular still. And Brian actually volunteered to do the story. And I said, I gave him what Gabe's comic was, and what he did is he kind of created a, a comic book out of it. And I didn't know what to expect. He said, I'll get back to you in two months. So the end of December, I get an email from him saying, here's the story, let me know what you think, check it out. And I read this thing and it was brilliant. It was, it was such a great story. And I sent it to my artist who'd been working on character sketches. He was kind of blown away. And this thing sort of just took off by itself. So I had this great artist, this great writer, and now we have this comic. It's a small eight page comic totally slick, really cool, and it's Gabe's comic that is kind of the centerpiece of the book, Vanished. It sort of provides this clue that helps Nick solve the mystery. So it's kind of like it, this comic comes to life, as it were. Thank you so much. This has been such a pleasure being able to speak Thank with you. you today and just get some more insight into who you are and who your characters are. <laughs> Thank you.